Welcome back to December 2023. I'm a bit sad this morning because we have the prompt the mushroom robots and there was something I really wanted to share with Effie but he is nowhere to be seen. So I guess we're on our own today. So my thoughts for mushroom robots were, oh my goodness, Effie, you're here. Where have you been? Hi, little buddy. What did you bring me? Oh my goodness, this must be from Louise. Look at this gorgeous paper. This is from her Defemorember papers and he is just the cutest. Don't you just love Louise's paper? And the mushrooms actually work perfectly for today's prompt, right? I know, it's so cool. But what did she send? Do you have any ideas? Oh, you're right. Maybe it's the door. Yeah, we had that door prompt for December 1st that you actually gave us. But it's too early. We're not finishing the prompt until December 31st, right? You still think I should open this? Okay. Let's see what Louise has sent me. By the way, can I just say thank you, Effie, for covering up our addresses? <laughs> very, very thoughtful of you. Oh my goodness. Mm. Look at this gorgeous card. She made that in another video. Oh, it's so cute. And this is another one of her paper kits. Oh my goodness, it's so oh, cute. Oh, I love you, Louisa. To the moon and back. Oh my gosh. To junk journal sister. <laughs> she added a date. That is so cool. Because she sent me another card. And uh, I was showing it in a video where I was sharing what's on my shelf in my craft room. And I had a card from her there. <laughs> And I mentioned in the video, please, please add dates. They are very important. So <laughs> she added a date. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she actually pays attention to my videos. Wow. I wish you a lot of creative fun with Effie's challenge. I've picked your favorite color for the door. Huh. I know the voices aren't real, but man, do they come up with some great ideas. <laughs> I love this. Ah, oh, this is just so beautiful. So if you don't know what this bonus prompt from Effie is all about, please check out our videos for December 1 for the Defemorember kickoff. There you'll also find special freebies with a letter from Effie that you can use. Like the one I have here. But I'm going to wait until December 31st, until part 2 of Effie's challenge. I am very, very curious which second prompt Effie is going to come up for me. But if you would like to see what's in here and how Louisa created it, you can find that video in Louisa's playlist linked below this video. It's called I found an unexpected letter from Effie on my desk. And if you would like to see the door that I made for Louisa, you can also find that in my Defemorember kickoff video in my Defemorember landing page linked below this video. So let's store this safely until December 31st, Effie, okay? So Effie, I'm so happy that you're here because I wanted to talk to you this morning. After meeting Luna, the protector of the forest yesterday, you understand that you're not the only magical creature, right? Yes, okay, good. And can you believe, Effie, that I recently came across some mushroom robots who live in a hidden corner of the forest? I really couldn't wait to share this newfound knowledge with you, Effie, knowing how much you love exploring and learning new things. So these mushroom robots are really special and have such a kind nature and they have unique abilities. They have lots of adventures and they go to help others in the forest, Effie. Oh, you want to become a mushroom robot and join their ranks? Why is that, Effie? You like the prospect of making new friends and helping others in the forest just like Luna does. Well, okay then, let's make that happen. So Effie, I'm going to use this photo of you. I think this will make a great mushroom robot. 
And to help us out, we're going to use this printable, which is from my mushroom garden kit. And we're going to use this mushroom here to help us making you into a mushroom robot. Another option would be to draw a mushroom top or to find another image of a mushroom. But if you're interested in this kit, I am giving you minus 30% on all of my mushroom related printables in my shop from today until end of January 2024. You just have to enter this code at the checkout. So I'll be cutting out this mushroom and Effie here. Oh, maybe I should remind you, I mean, it says it here, but this was a freebie that you've already seen if you are familiar with this series. Just to remind you, there is a link below this video with everything you need for Defame Remember, the playlist, the freebies, the digitals, and also Louise's playlist. If you want to learn more about the Mushroom Robot's special abilities to help the forest, well, you know, they have different capabilities. So there are some that have bioluminescence. Yes, I know that's a really hard word, right? But it means that some mushroom robots can emit a soft, gentle glow from their mushroom caps, providing light to the dark forest at night. This ability helps other creatures find their way and adds a touch of magic to the forest. Isn't that a, just amazing? Some have healing spores. So when they release these special spores from their cap, they have the power to heal and rejuvenate plants and creatures in the forest. These spores can be used to restore health to sick trees, flowers, and animals. Some of these mushroom robots can communicate with the plant life in the forest. They can understand the needs and desires of plants, which allows them to maintain harmony in the ecosystem. And they also have a fungal network and they're connected to a large underground fungal network, which allows them to share information and send messages and help each other in times of need, forming a tight knit community. Just like we have here with the crafting community, Effie. And some can even weave dreams for other creatures in the forest, bringing visions of hope, inspiration, and creativity. These dreams encourage the forest inhabitants to pursue their dreams and aspirations. So you want some unique powers as well? Let's give you some very special powers, Effie. So first, let's see how we can make your mushroom cap fit. <laughs> We just need to adjust your other hat a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> okay, then let's give you some cool glasses. What about something like this? We have a hard cog wheel and we have this round one. And we could cut a piece of this cardboard to connect those two cog wheels to make them look more like real glasses. We can color that in later. And Effie, I think you need a visor as well because we need to protect your eyes. So I'm going to take this overhead transparency Put that here and then I'll take my marker and draw the shape I want the visor to be. So basically it's actually covering your whole face. So let's cut that out. Just need to adjust it a bit here. 
like that but you know what it's too clean because you know you're walking around in the forest the whole time there's gonna be some mud splatters or something so i think to make this look a little bit more realistic effie we need to add a little bit of color onto it and you remember louisa shared a really cool technique when she was doing her butterfly in three torn things on december 4th right we could just try that so let's take this off again we need to pay attention to which side we use. So let's move over here, Effie. I know that this piece is hard to see at the moment, but we'll see it better once I have added some color to it. So remember, Louise said, if you have an overhead transparency, you need to use the correct side. It's the side that you would usually print on. So if you have a piece like this and you're unsure, she said to rub your finger over it and you will hear from the noise, which is the correct side. So let's first try the underside. Maybe close your ears, Effie, if you don't want to hear squeaks. Okay, there's actually no squeaks here. <laughs> and on this side, ah, you hear that? We have squeaks, so that should be the right side if I remember correctly. So I want to use some Forest Moss Distress Oxide Spray, just very, very little, because obviously I want you to be able to see Effie, but you know, it can't be as clean as this. So I'm just going to spray once very gently. I hope this is gonna work. Effie, maybe move a little. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. Will you be able to see? I don't know. <laughs> so then I take a paper towel. I don't want to spray it with water because I don't want it to look like smeared. I just wanted dots and it looks like this was kind of a lot. You see that? Let's put it on you. Oh, that would be hard to see, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's use another piece and see if we can spray a little less. It's not easy. Okay, I'm going farther away. So as we learned from Louise's video, this is now permanent. So even if you go over it with water, you could spray it with water. You see, nothing is happening. It's such a cool technique. So I have some here that doesn't have a whole lot on it, definitely less than here. So I'm just going to trace that again. Yeah, I think that's much better. You can see a lot more now. <laughs> okay, let me just quickly clean this mess up. Okay, so let's attach the visor to your mushroom cap. I'll just use some regular tape for that. Okay, we still need to fix your glasses. So for your special powers, Effie, I think I have an idea. You see, we have some flowers here in the background. I could cut out, for example, this one and maybe this one here. And we'll make these flowers into antennas. And with these special flower antennas, you can scan the health and well-being of other plants that are nearby. You can use this ability to find sick or distressed plants that need your healing touch. Yeah, I knew you would love that one. So there's antenna number one. <laughs> and here is number two. Then how about we give you a little box. This is a very special box, Effie. that and then we need a smaller piece like that i know it's wonky effie but that's totally fine i actually want the wonky look mm -hmm. let's add some color to that box yeah i'll tell you in a moment what that box is good for and let's also color this middle part of your glasses Going to have to move a bit again 
Yep, that's better. So I'm going to use this Distress Spray Stain Tarnished Brass. Yes, Effie, you could also paint these with acrylic paint or with watercolor. But what I like about this is if I go close enough to it with my heat tool, then it bubbles up and then I get this cool grungy effect. And now I can go over it with some darker Distress Oxide in Ground Espresso. And that will just make it look overall a bit more grungy. Like that. It almost looks like rust let's go over this little part as well <laughs> for your glasses it's a bit hard it's so small so i've also inked around effie and i have inked around everything the flowers and everything so we can glue a few parts down now so i want this to be wonky because I just think it's more fun. Let's glue down the glasses as well. And the box still needs a little bit of interest. Let's add some black dots here so that they look sort of like there are some screws maybe and also some here it needs some sort of mysterious writing here i'll tell you in a moment what's in here so this box contains an assortment of natural treasures like magical seeds enchanted herbs and rare crystals and you can use those treasures to solve problems or assist other creatures in the forest. Like that. And we can also already attach your hat with the visor. So we need to attach your antennas. So do we put them in the front like this or in the back? I don't know where the reception is going to be better. I think in the back is gonna be a bit better. So let's do that. <laughs> Excuse me. You want more abilities. Oh my goodness. I have an idea, Effie. So how about we give you a stick? I mean, I know you have one here, but let's give you a real one. So let's break this off. Mm -hmm. Let's cut off this one. And let's actually make a hole right here. Uh, it needs to be more in between here so you, you can actually hold the stick. Okay, that should work. Just ink up this part here. So this is a very special stick Effie and it's going to have some wire wrapped around it so that you can connect with the energy of the earth. So that goes in here and this wire is going to connect to the box. So we're going to add a little hole in your box okay and then we add a brad and we'll put the wire around the brad so that way you can connect the energy to your box so 
So we can snip this end off and tuck that end underneath the brad because we don't want you to get hurt, right? And that will also secure your stick here. So when you touch the stick to the ground, you can draw upon the earth's strength to perform tasks like planting trees or helping other plants grow. Isn't that amazing? So we need to place you into a like magical forest setting. So maybe we can use this page. We could just cut this off, cut this down. Oh, we unfortunately have this hole here. Maybe we'll just cut out these two mushrooms here. And look, this mushroom here looks like it has a little door in it. <laughs> So I think this is where this rabbit is going to live. So this is from a vintage book from my Goodwill. I must say, I really miss my Goodwill, which was near the previous apartment I lived in. I used to live very central and now I'm more in the outskirts of Vienna, which is great because it's quiet and I really, really need the quiet. But of course, the downside is that the infrastructure here is not great. So whenever I need to go somewhere, it takes me a long time. But if I had to choose one or the other, I will definitely take the quiet and having a balcony looking out into a beautiful garden anytime. Let's ink him up as well. I've also inked up these mushrooms, by the way. And we can just make a little slit so that he can just peek out from there. Let's see if that's big enough. Mm, maybe just a little more. Okay, let's ink that up as well. And then we can stick his butt in <laughs> so that he can peek out like that. <laughs> okay, we can glue his butt down. <laughs> so we need to find something to adhere everything to. Let's have a look in our little scrap basket to see if there's anything that we could use from Louise. Hmm. I want something where a little mushroom robot and the mushrooms stand out a little bit. But I also want it to be kind of like a floral. Oh, what about this one? This is one of my favorite pieces from Louisa. Obviously, it's not big enough. Oh, this would make a great backdrop. There's also this one. Maybe we could combine these two. Ooh, we could cut this part off so that we just have this mushroom. I also cut out this one from the same page. Maybe we could add that one as well. But I need to figure out how big this can be because my plan was to put it here in this tuck spot. That's a bit big. We move it a little closer together. Okay, I'm going to cut a piece of beige cardstock to the maximum width that this can be. Because I can't put this all the way in because we have some glue here. I mean, I guess it could be all the way out until here okay fine and let's figure out the maximum height would be here okay so this is the size of the card that's actually quite big but that's fine because i think we'll need all the width that we can get so now we can play with this if we have it like this maybe that makes more sense and then we have this here 
We don't necessarily have to add this mushroom at all, but he would work actually quite well up here. And then we could maybe grunge up the edges a little bit. So I'll glue the elements down first. Let's do this little mushroom. Then Effie. This stick here is sticking up <laughs> so much. You see that? I think I need to add another piece of wire. I mean, I could also just add some glue with my glue gun, hold that down. But I think I would rather use another piece of wire. Let me first glue these two together. Then I'll poke two holes through the paper right next to the stick. And then I can thread my wire through and we won't see it because it's wrapped with wire anyway. Yeah, and then we can just pull this closed and twist them on the back and make the ends shorter. And now it stays down. Maybe add some tape on the back. Okay, now we can glue the whole thing down. And then we can add this one with the bunny. So I want to grunge up the edges, obviously. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I'll start with some Lost Shadow Oxide Spray. So I want to start with a very light color and I'm just trying to spray some on the edges so that these edges will kind of blend into the background. I don't know if I will be successful with that. Then I want to mix in some forest moss. Ooh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, that's a lot. Don't want to make the whole mushroom green. Yeah, this one is more difficult to work with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're getting there. And then I'll also add some of this tarnished brass. Such a beautiful color. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I guess it's a little clogged up. And let's be brave and add a little bit of water to make it all blend in a little bit more, hoping that we can contain it to the edges. Good thing that uh, Effie has a visor. <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm happy with this. This is a lot. Let's see if I can take some off with a paper towel. Okay, that looks better already. Oof, I thought I ruined the whole thing now. I feel like it has also lightened up a bit after drying it. So yeah, I think it blends in a lot better now with the beige background. And for the back, since we already have some paint on there, let's just add a bit more to make it look more intentional. So again, I'll just spray my Lost Shadow because it is so light. And obviously I want to add some writing to this. So this is what the back looks like now. 
let's add the mushroom robots on top here this of course comes from the full-sized defend member prompt list so effie you are now officially part of the mushroom robots and protector and caretaker of the enchanted forest and we have another very bulky piece to add to our journal <laughs> We can cross off the mushroom robots on our list. And we are at half point. Unbelievable. You now have three days to either catch up or to take a rest or to work on your own prompts. I would love to see your own mushroom robots and hear about their adventures. Please use the hashtag defemember when posting on social media. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah.